Happy Friday everyone, Greg Harding here from Greg Harding Photography and Video. Um, thanks for tuning in, really nice to see you again. I hope you grabbed a brew, uh, you know, it's a Friday catch up, that's what we do here. We have a brew, we have a chat, and we just talk over kind of what's happened with your week. Uh, and of course, I'm a bit deaf in this ear, so I want to hear your comments below, alright? Stick them in the comments below, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, otherwise, uh, you're just going to have to listen to me for 10 minutes, so uh, it'll be a bit boring. So just come on, give me a little something back, all right. Uh, but anyway, for me, uh, what's been happening this week? Um, it's been a bank holiday week, so Monday was fantastic. Such lovely uh, weather. We had a barbecue here um, and had some friends around. We'd really enjoyed that. And then uh, very, very soon after that, so Tuesday morning, flew out to Germany, to Cologne. Uh, there was a big tyre uh, meeting there, big uh, exhibition. Uh, so I took the opportunity to go out there, meet up with some uh, friends in the sort of tyre business. Um, uh, having worked with uh, GT, GT Radio for a while, um, you know, you kind of get to know um, most of their staff. Um, and it's really nice actually just catching back up with them uh, and actually some on the um, other sort of stands and other companies you know you you get known um, you know if you're in that industry for long enough uh, and so it was good catching up with those I had a um, uh, I took out some uh, some uh, promotional material I suppose you know it's always good to um, um, give yourself a chance to uh, get in front of other people that might be interested in working with you. Um, these went down really, really well. Um, I went around a few um, other companies and just had uh, quick chats with them, seeing what they were up to. Um, the big story at the show was the revelation. Uh, it broke uh, maybe middle of May that the European Commission uh, has put in a sort of anti-dumping tax um, against all Chinese manufacturers um, so that was hitting um, a lot of the manufacturers that sort of, uh, that's in the sort of cheaper um, range of truck tyres particularly they're not touching PCR which is the passenger car or the OTR which is the off-road stuff um, it's all about truck and bus that um, the European Commission have said all Chinese companies need to, you know, manufacture or the manufacturer in China are going to get a levy. They're going to get taxed, um, and in some cases, it's pretty brutal. Um, and that was that was the big story um, around the show. Uh, so it, it did actually. I mean, it gave me lots to talk about when I was seeing other people, um, and to see what other what other companies are doing. So. Um, GT for instance who I work with they um, although they have got lots of manufacturing in China they've got manufacturing in Indonesia as well which is what they're going to be shifting a lot to uh, they're also going to be manuf uh, they've also got a brand new manufacturing plant over in America uh, which will probably take up some of their um, uh, their manufacturing for them so that they can plug a few holes so yeah I mean they've they've, they've spread their um, their manufacturing so uh, I think they can get away with without paying that tax because it's only from um, it's they're only uh, charging an import duty uh, or an import tax on uh, tires that are coming from China so if you're manufacturing out of Indonesia or other places in the, in the world then you know it doesn't affect you so um, you know if you're a big company like GT and they they have lots of extra manufacturing capacity then that's what they're going to do and so it was interesting to find out from uh, other manufacturers as to what they were up to uh, and how they were going to cope um, there were certainly some uh, manufacturers out there that were kind of shaking their heads and going don't really know why we're here because you know they paid for the stands up front um, it's the largest mat it's the largest tire um, show in the world um, so they had to be there um, but because they were only showing um, you know truck and bus tires to buy uh, and because of the 
taxation on the tyres, their import duty uh, has increased so significantly that it that they can't afford to sell them. So uh, it was quite interesting having conversations with those guys as to what they were going to be doing and how they were going to survive for the next two, three, five years, you know. So um, difficult for them, definitely. But uh, they're finding... Um, you know, ingenious and uh, being quite um, you know, innovative in how they can continue. So it uh, gives me lots of opportunities to talk to them and it means that because they're being hit so hard that they've got to market that much harder. So uh, whilst they're manufacturing um, or whilst their uh, manufacturing is declined, um, the you know they they have to market to their customers even more aggressively you know to get them to buy um, a lot of Chinese manufacturers won't be selling to Europe I shouldn't wonder um, so they'll stick to you know China America and the rest of the world anywhere that doesn't include uh, Europe in effect so because it's only Europe that are putting the anti-dumping tax on them so uh, so yeah that's um, but you know the show itself uh, I was there for a couple of days. Um, I arrived on the Tuesday, uh, sort of Tuesday afternoon, and then I was there for uh, the afternoon. Um, went out in the evening. That was very nice. Cologne's beautiful, by the way. If you've never been to Cologne, you really need to go. It's a fantastic cathedral. I've been two or three times now, but it's um, uh, the cathedral. It, it just takes your breath away. It's f absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'll try and uh, put some uh, images up here or there whatever you know so you can see uh, what I'm talking about these don't do it justice they're just captured off the phone so uh, but lovely 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 city much better than um, Essen because that was where the tyre um, show was held prior to um, Cologne they hold the show every two years because it's such a massive investment and because they have all the major manufacturers um, you know that if you're going to be seen as a tire manufacturer or a subsidiary you know um, you know accessories rims etc like that you know then you you'll want to be there because people are are going to be buying so um, but it was yeah it was it was worth going it was worth having chats with lots of people there um, I didn't actually shoot uh, or photograph any of the stands uh, I should have done actually that oh well <laughs> Kind of, uh, I'm kind of more interested in talking to people uh, and handing out a few cards. In fact, talking of cards, these bad boys, these were, these went down really, really well. Um, and so, if you're looking for business cards, and I'm not sponsored by them in, in any way, but um, Moo, they do a lot. You know, you can have all your pictures put onto um, individual um, cards, and uh, because kind of. Uh, the stand people are used to accepting cards it's really nice just to go you know fan them out and say look you know pick the one that appeals to you they're all mine and details are on the back so uh, I got a lot of you know really nice kind of comments about that um, so yeah it's worth doing stand out from you know just a boring card with your name on it and photographer or whatever it is that you've got so that's worth doing um, coming up, uh, that, well there's lots coming up um, after next week, I'm away next week, it's half term so I'll be away with the kids, we're going to Centre Parks and that's going to, oh, I really look forward to that every year, that's going to be nice, it's going to be nice relaxing, good fun, change of scenery, nice chance to sort of run around um, and spend some time with the kids, really really important. So uh, there's not going to be an upload for next week so uh, look out for it the following week um, there's plenty going on after that um, what are we up to so um, I've got some teaching actually to do so that's in, that's going to be interesting um, there's some um, school perspectives photography coming up um, I've had some great feedback from the uh, construction companies that I've been working with for ex uh, they, they do excavator attachments um, we finished some work on that and they have loved that and really they can't be more thrilled so look forward to more work coming through from them um, and so yeah 
Um, it is, that, that's about it from me. I didn't want to like make it a big long session. Um, get into it, enjoy yourself um, over the next week. I hope you, if you're away on holiday any time, I hope it's good weather for you. Next week for us down in sort of Nottingham Centre Parks Way, I think it's going to be really nice. So I am so looking forward to that. Uh, don't think about me, you know, when I'm uh, in the swimming pools and the jacuzzis and at the, the spa. I'll be having a good time with gin and tonics and mojitos, I hope. All right, I'll be switching my brew out for a mojito next week. So uh, I will leave you there. Thanks for tuning in. If you like it, give me a comment. What do you think about the, um, you know, the, any tyre manufacturers that are coming from China? Have you got any thoughts? Have you... Have you actually spoken to any of them? Uh, be really interesting to see what you're up to. Uh, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. Who knows? All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. <laughs>